Hello and welcome to Ian Explores, the new series where we meet the venue teams behind the UK's biggest and best exhibitions. First up, we have Exhibition Centre Liverpool, part of the ACC Liverpool Group Campus. While Liverpool is famous for live music, sport and culture, also at the heart of the city is its impressive trade show and consumer offering. Let's speak to the Exhibition Centre team to find out about the venues, focus on sustainability, flexibility, and what organisers can benefit from hosting events here. So my name is Colm Graham. I am Head of Exhibitions, uh, Partnerships and Hospitality here at the ACC Liverpool Group, and I have been here six years. Can you tell us a little bit about the flexibility of the campus and what, what, what organisers can, can get from it? Yeah, it's a very flexible campus. As I say we've got three massive venues um, that can be interconnected or used all as one. Um, you may know recently that we've hosted Eurovision um, and that has been an absolute real pinnacle of events that we've uh, been able to push across um, the world. Um, the Exhibition Centre has 8,100 square metres. Um, we have a bridge that goes into our Convention Centre and again with another 15 metre rooms there. And there's also interconnected into the MS Bank Arena, which has about 10,000 seats that people can utilise for plenaries or conference areas too. So my name's Janet Newsom. Um, I'm the sector manager for the Visitor Economy at Growth Platform. And what we do is we're the interface with um, external businesses really trying to sort of support the sector and make it resilient, make it grow. So I work specifically with Visitor Economy businesses from um, major attractions to coastal communities to new products and to particularly with business events as well. And what would you say sort of the, the sector strengths are in the Liverpool City region? So Sector Centre Liverpool City region for the growth platform, we focus in particular on the three main areas. The visitor economy is our foundation sector and that really provides the glue for everything that we do. But the three sort of growth areas are advanced manufacturing, health and life sciences and digital and creative sectors. Taking place at the venue for the first time is Nursing Live. Let's speak to one of the event organisers about how they found the experience. So this is a launch event for us and it was quite nerve wracking, but we uh, decided to put the event here in Liverpool and we're delighted with how it's gone. From the moment we chose the venue, Liverpool have been here beside us, helping us for every step of the way. The customer service has been fantastic and as a result, we've had a cracking start to this event. And why do you think Liverpool as a city was a good choice for you as well, obviously? Well, Liverpool as a city is a great city. The people are incredible and I think they've really got behind the event. Um, and because our audience is nurses, they're up and down the country. Generally, a lot of nursing events start in the south, but we wanted to make a difference with this one. We really wanted to make sure that we were placing it in the north and we'll continue to do so for the next few years. And how does it work in this particular venue at ECL? really really well we've had no problems in fact most of our exhibitors have said this is the best event build they've ever had and we we were ready early <laughs> which i don't think has ever happened before so it's worked really well for us and what are your plans beyond 2023 how do you look to sort of grow grow the uh, the event going forward yeah so we'll be here next year in liverpool but we will be expanding across the uk with this brand uh, i expect the exhibitions to grow but as a brand it will grow across conferences webinars road shows so we will be across the country. And what impact do you think um, big exhibitions like Nursing Life can have on the city? Oh, it, I mean, things like this are amazing. They give, um, they give a real buzz. They add to the culture of, of the city region. You know, being busy, seeing people here. It gives us a sense of purpose, a sense of pride. Um, obviously, there's a reputational perspective from that as well. We want to be able to say that, you know, we are excellent at doing big events, and which we are. Um, but, you know, it really does showcase us on, you know, a world and a global stage that we're doing this. Clearly, there's an economic benefit as well. And um, we always like to try to reach out and have that social impact where we can possibly can do as, as well with support networks, whether that's through local supplies and that. So there is a whole ecosystem of benefits to the city region. And why would you say Liverpool is a, is a, is a good place to do, to do business? You're on this amazing waterfront um, and you've got this, the most fantastic facilities, you know, city style campus with the ACC. Um, it's an incredible um, combination of um, facilities. But above all, you've got the people and the people are warm, friendly, they'll make a difference. So you've got a real can-do attitude that will want to be able to not only sort of make it a welcomed environment, but to be able to plug you in into these clusters long term, absolutely all about creating these long term partnerships. That's the most important thing to us. And in Liverpool, we've got that in spades. 
Yeah, so our social value impact plan was announced in 2021. Um, we work very closely with our organizers um, in terms of their carbon footprint and reducing their carbon footprint at events. Um, they can get uh, statements um, based on their carbon footprint and what they've utilized at events. Um, we, we also donate a lot of their food to local charities. Um, and it's been a really uh, key element and key push for us across the last number of years. And we're very keen to push that forward for the next number of years as well. Even though we are a carbon neutral campus at the moment, offsetting against you know, some fantastic projects, the main key aim is to hit 2030 and net zero. Um, that is in line with our local city council, which are our, our local owners, um, and is ahead of the trend across the industry, which is 2050. Yeah, so how would you say uh, organisers can tap into the to networks you, you mentioned before? So we've got a lot of opportunities there. We've got obviously a um, growth platform where we have a connection of uh, cluster boards for each individual cluster area, events manufacturing, health and life sciences and um, digital and creative. Um, that has a board of expertise on all of them, ranging from business owners um, to education facilities um, to other supply chains such as skills development and stuff like that. Um, we're always looking for partnerships to be able to work with because we want to be able to be innovative and grow with these um, exhibitions. I'd say the Exhibition Centre in Liverpool is an absolute must as a point of contact. We work in really close partnership with them. So if, if they want to, if they see a viable um, opportunity uh, which resonates with the you know, core themes and our core areas of growth, get in touch with them and then we can work in partnership to really get it off the ground and make it grow. We've had, some, we've had some great exhibitions. We've had some exhibitions that have grown for a number of years. So um, Comic Con Liverpool is a really great example. You know, it started at the exhibition centre, 8,100 square metres, progressed in 2018 into the auditorium, which has 1,350 seats. Um, it's currently using the, a festival site with our full convention centre and our exhibition centre. And I'm delighted to say in May next year that they're going to use all three. So it's going to be MS Bank Arena is going to be included within that. We're anticipating upwards of 40,000 people attended on site. So it's going to be a really great sort of key um, event for us going forward. And it is the primary Comic Con across the UK at the moment with some great guests. But that's what we offer clients. We offer clients flexibility to grow within our campus. Um, like I said, our team, we work on partnership approach. And we also say our teams extend a part of their team. So they've got key touch points on event management, production. Um, they can also speak to me quite regularly and lots of the team as well. Um, Tell us, a, tell us a bit about the um, support you offer clients, like the, the marketing, ticketing, and that kind of thing as well. Yeah, so I'd, I'd say uh, we have this one team brand. So our, we have our production teams in house, we have our event management teams in house, we have cater managers, um, we have our ticket quarter team, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, again, that's our own ticket and arm. You know, we have over 500,000 people on that database that can be targeted for consumer events and live events. They also have key account managers within that sort of section as well, which can obviously work with organisers on key demographics and marketing. So it's a really great campaign and a really great um, USP for our venue and for the campus and for the city. Um, but we work very closely with organisers in terms of internal and external, what they can do within the venues and what they can do externally within the city to make it really a memorable event going forward and create a legacy. Some of our key takeaways from being here is the flexibility of the, of the ACC Liverpool Group campus, its drive towards net zero, its diverse portfolio of events and the appeal of Liverpool as a city as a whole. Stay tuned for more EN Explores videos.